have been away from YouTube for way, way too long. The reason why my videos have been few and far between is because of school, but now that I'm on my summer break, uh-huh, yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back again, back again, back again. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I kind of hit a reading slump in the time that I was gone because I was so busy with school, especially towards the end of the year with everything, but I kind of got back into reading, um, mostly with poetry. Now, yeah, I read poetry now, I know. Uh, just because poetry books are generally a lot shorter than um, full novels, so at least I was reading something, kind of climb back into the habit of reading. Recently, a friend of mine recommended this book to me, and she's amazing. She's also like a book nerd like me. I'll link her blog right here or in the description box below. But her blog is awesome, she is awesome, and shout out to my girl Leanne! So, this book is Pax by Sarah Penny Packer, and I started reading this book like not knowing anything about the book. I hadn't read any reviews, any synopsis. Nothing. I just knew that it was about a fox because of the cover. It has a fox on it, so I kind of figured that out. The story is about a boy named Peter and his pet fox, Pax, and basically they get separated, but then they try to find their way back to each other, and it is the most heartwarming slash heart-wrenching story you will ever read. So this novel is a middle grade novel, which I didn't know when I first read it, so I didn't have any like expectations um, of what the writing style was going to be like but the writing style is quite um, simple in the sense that they use very simple language but it includes some of the most beautiful imagery that I have ever read in my life it's just it's stunning. So this novel is a dual narrative so every other chapter is um, from the perspective of either Peter the boy or Pax the fox. I almost said wolf. So the plotline is fairly simple so boy and well, pet get separated to try and find each other so it's pretty you know standard like dog movie stuff but it's more about the growth of the characters as they try to make their way back to each other. For goodness sake, even Pax the Fox has such an amazing character development. Like, it's insane. And personally, when I read a novel, I don't really read it for action. I mostly read it for um, character development and uh, world building. I'm that kind of person. It's just personal preference and this book gave me all of that. Obviously, it's not slow, even though there's a lot of character development, the story isn't slow, there's still bits of action in it, really tense, dramatic moments, and I haven't read a book in a long time that made me physically like react to what was going on. I was so immersed in the story, it's just brilliant. I don't want to say that this is a coming of age novel, but it kind of is because of the fact that the characters, especially Pax, uh, his perspective of the world in the beginning is way different to what it is at the end and in the beginning they're kind of like childish per se, like immature? I Okay, that's a harsh word. Let me rephrase that. In the beginning, the characters' perspectives are very narrow and they are very unsure but towards the end they have a bigger understanding and a m more mature perspective on things and i love those stories where you get to like grow with the characters so this book was great for me if you are someone who loves characters like i do you're gonna love this book this book to me did not have any cliches the characters felt all three-dimensional and original and even though the storyline kind of sounds cliche, it's written in a way that isn't cliche. Even though I, I'm not going to give away anything, but even though I kind of anticipated the ending, it still hit me really hard. Like, I was ugly crying by the time I finished this book. I'm not even joking, like, I was wailing and sobbing and just having all the feelings. I just could not. I can't. I, I can't. Oh my god. Ugh, it's just, 
it's definitely a tearjerker, that's all I'm saying. And I find that this novel also, even though it's meant for a younger audience, it touches on things like anxiety and describes it in a way that is easy to understand and grasp. Honestly, I really tried to, like while I was like trying to um, make notes for this review, I was trying to find things that I didn't like about the book and I found that. There was nothing that I didn't like about the book. Not to say that it's a perfect book, but there's like nothing that I really could, I couldn't find a problem with it. Honestly, it's just a great book. So those are my thoughts on Packs by Sarah Penningpacker. It's emotional, it's beautiful, great character development, and I would like to have some recommendations for tear jerkers because I love making myself sad through books. If you have any sad books that you would like to recommend, leave them down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!